it's Jess here from Nigesa.co.uk and I'm here with a little project to make a little uh, gift bag like this with just a little treat in it. Um, now um, I've made similar bags like this before um, and it's designed to hold um, a pack of these um, sun-made raisins just as a little treat and then when I was looking at it I was like oh I wonder what else it might hold um, and so um, it does in fact hold to Hershey's as well um, I uh, but it is a little bit wide so I've readjusted so now um, I then made this in some retired stuff so it's ever so slightly shorter um, that way to hold two Hershey nuggets Okay, and I tied the tops a little bit different so we can have a little compare and see what we like. I got these Hershey nuggets um, when I was on holiday um, in the summer. Uh, I went to the, I went all over America. Uh, well, I didn't go all over America. I went over part of America, visited uh, lots of uh, places. And uh, I thought, well, I have watched demonstrators do, um, American demonstrators do, um, little treat things for, for Hershey Nuggets. So I thought, I'm going to have to do it. You know, I'm here, they're there, the bag's calling to me. Um, so I bought them. One of the good things about having Hershey Nuggets in my craft room is that I'm not tempted by them because they're not my favourite chocolate at all. So, um, so yeah, if that was a, a Cadbury's or a Galaxy Nugget, then they probably wouldn't be appearing now because they would have been et. But um, these don't tempt me, but my children do like them. So um, I'll be probably giving them for giving them to them for treats. So I am moving away from Christmas. I've been doing lots and lots of Christmas. So I'm not doing Christmas this time. So this is Gorgeous Grape. And this is our 6x6 six six Colour Family um, uh, paper packs that we've got. So I've got... I've got every one actually because I couldn't decide which one I wanted. Um, so I'm going to use the gingham side because I still miss gingham Carla. That is probably one of my favourite papers ever. So um, to make the little gift bag, this is five and three quarters by three. And I'm going to do a couple of wraps. So these are one inch by three inches and I'll be wrapping the Hershey um, nuggets um, in that just to give it an extra little bit of specialness okay so uh, we're going to score on the long side and we're going to score at three eight five 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 eights uh, and two and five eights and three and a quarter and five and a quarter. I will put all these measurements on my blog, nigesa.co.uk, and then we're just going to score on that side at five eighths. So that's all the scoring done. I have been putting them in Imperial as well. No? Metric. <laughs> um, so yes, they're centimetres and inches um, over on my blog now um, because I know that in Europe, we, we, we went over to the metric system in the 70s. Um, and, uh, well, I didn't. I still think in inches. I haven't moved over. I've got one of my friends um, has moved over. She's older than me, but she uses centimetres. But then she was a teacher in primary school, so I guess she had to. Whereas I wasn't, so I still think in inches. Plus I used to sew and my mum taught me to sew. So I do think all the time in inches and yards. And that's just the way I am. I do understand metres and things. Right, so what we're doing is this is the shortest bit. It is only a shorter by an eighth, so um, just be careful and don't snip the wrong bit. So we need to cut that um, rectangle away and then we'll just notch. And I've cut up each one of these and then these little flaps we're going to notch into. 
But yes, yeah, some people have asked, can I do centimetres as well? And some people have even said, oh, I'm glad you do inches. So I just thought, oh, well, I'll do them both. Thing is, though, sometimes it's really hard because they're not exact. So it does change them a little bit. OK, so that's our basic box. So we're going to put some um, glue on there. I'm just going to use Fast Fuse to be quick. And then that will just fold over nicely there. And now I've got to make sure I've got the right. So that bit is the back. So I want that bit to go forward. So I'm going to put some fast views on these little flaps because I like to sandwich them in the middle. Even though it's a really small tree box and you can't really see down it too well, that's just what I do. And then that bit will go over. So that's our basic box done. So then we need the Hershey Nuggets. And these just wrap round and will fasten at the bottom. Now, when I've been watching these, I didn't realise that Hershey Nuggets didn't have wrappers. I just assumed that they came with wrappers and that um, they were just changed for to match whatever project was being made. But no, they don't come in wrappers. So, uh, so yeah, that was a every day's a school day. That was a bit of an eye opener for me. But yeah, quite quite easy to wrap. And uh, and I can see why working with them, they're quite a nice size. I have designed another box, which I shall. A little treat box which I should bring you later with them. That one is Christmas themed. So there we are, two nice little nuggets and they will go inside my little box and sit there quite nicely side by side. Nice little snug things. Right, now this one, I pinched the sides in and put two holes there and tied a ribbon in a bow. This one, I went for just a centre hole and tied the ribbon like that and um, not really sure which one I like best to be honest um, so uh, so yeah but I think I'll probably go with this one again actually so I'm gonna get me proper dial um, I'm gonna put the holes a little bit closer than I did there though so I had this set um, at a quarter of an inch but I'm going to go in, well, actually it was set at half an inch, um, so I'm going to go at five, five eighths I think. Helps if you turn it the right way Jez. Oh dear me, I need to say that righty tighty and lefty loosey. But that doesn't actually oh yeah that is right helps if you know you're right from your left <laughs> when you're doing that oh dear right so i'm just going to pinch those in a little bit because it does give it a nice little little effect and then i'm going to take this and go in and i kind of match those little prongies that stink out with the top Except you haven't got them on this side when you go in so I've just got a match with the gingham pattern oh dear me and that brings them in a little bit closer I've got some gorgeous grape ribbon here so this is our um, stripy ribbon that we've got. I can't read the box because it's the wrong ribbon on the box. So we're going to feed this through, make sure I'm going 
the right way. Read this through these holes. Love this colour. Love purple. I was a Donny Osmond fan when I was like three. Um, no, he was a bit older. Um, and uh, his favourite colour was purple. And then as I grew up and developed a little bit more taste than that in music, I loved Prince. And um, Prince was all about purple. Um, and so it just cemented my love of purple, which has remained with me. Right, I'm concentrating now on this ribbon. Well, that's just rubbish, Jez. Absolutely dire. And let's, let's start again. I've got too long a bit there. So I'll pull it through a bit more. Now, one of the things I did do to help, which I've just remembered, there it is, was I used a little, one of our little retired bulldog clips to sort of hold that close. And that actually helped with the tying of this bow to make sure that it kept together. There. That's a bit better. So we'll just pull this a bit more. And then I'm going to get my sharp scissors. Like so. And then to decorate the front, um, I've got some Whisper White and some Gorse Grey. And I've left my punches over on my desk. And so I've got a two, a one and a half inch circle and a one and three eighths scallop. So I'm going to cut a whisper white circle. I'm going to need that for stamping in a sec. And gorgeous grape scallop. And those two are going to get glued together. And then I'm going to put a butterfly on there. So I'm using um, Butterfly Gala. Haven't used this for ages and I do love it. And I've mounted um, that one, it would seem. And uh, so I'm going to do me a butterfly on it. So kind of couldn't get further from Christmas if I tried. So... There we go, put that on my chamois. Um, so let me tell you a few things that are happening in the Stampin' Up! world. Uh, so, um, new trimmer, that's quite exciting. i still got enough blades to use my old trimmer for a bit. I was lucky enough to get some. Um, but, if you never bought a Stampin' Up! trimmer, or you run out of blades we now have a new one and it's a very good price um, we were all quite surprised that uh, it's cheaper than the old one and the blades are in four packs um, so so yeah so I'm just giving this butterfly a bit of life so yeah so everybody's quite excited at the new trimmer um, which is just available for demonstrators at the moment and then it's going to be released uh, to customers so that's quite exciting and um, we have got a um, a new Christmas project uh, product um, release as well that's coming up it's currently on pre-order you might have seen some um, 
demonstrations of it and uh, one of the good things is that um, you could get both those products the whole suite and the trimmer in your starter kit if you chose to join my team um, because you can add them even though they're not on general release yet they are on general release to demonstrators and to new joiners so that's quite exciting so you can get them both and then still have a few quid left to spend on something else in your starter kit which is quite cool so if you're interested in that let me know drop me a line if you want have you got any questions and uh, be excited to have have you on my team okay so nearly finished with this and that goes on there like so so there we have it so there's one there in gorgeous grape and one there oh good job i got that out oh we need something to go down the center there um let me get me what i did with this one was well that one's just silver because it's got silver in there um and this one um i colored it with a with the rhinestones with the blends um but this i remembered about these stick on sequins so i thought oh we've got these purple ones and um i thought oh, i might bung them on it see what that's like so stick these down the centre, give it a little bit of little bit of extra interest down the centre. I think we'll get away with three. I used four of the little gems there. There we go. So nice little treat there for your kiddies. They like Hershey's or a mate just to say, here you go. Nice little thank you gifts. You never know. Spend with me this month and this could be arriving at your house to say thank you next month. OK, all the details will be on my blog, nagesa.co.uk. Link there and that will take you directly to the blog post. Like and subscribe, please, and go and explore some more. Bye.